how many of y'all seen the post that I have called Worshippers Wanted? Or let me see your hands. If you've seen Worshippers Wanted, let's put the picture up, the thumbnail, Pastor Juanita, I sent over to you. Thank you. Put that on there. Worshippers Wanted. I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing with Worshippers Wanted. Then I'm going to turn the kids over to the children's church, to, to youth and all that good stuff. But what worshipers wanted is that the, I woke up in the morning one day and the Lord just dropped this thing on my heart. He says, I want worship everywhere. Worshipers everywhere. Everybody say everywhere worshipers. And I just felt like I heard all these voices and I said, oh, Lord, what is this? Now, this was like 2 o'clock in the morning. So I'm over here creating one of these thumbnails, and I put it on social media, and, uh, and I put it on there, and a couple of people signed up to Worshippers Wanted. And so what this is is called mob worshiping. That's what I'm calling it. Have you all ever heard of mob, uh, what is it, mob music? What is it? Flash mob, right? Okay, so I'm going to show you. How many of you all do not know what a flash mob is? All right, it's not, you're not flashing anybody, but it's a mob that just shows up, okay? Come on now. Joey, keep your shirt on, Joey. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you this video real quick. Let's crank up the volume just for a moment. It's about three minutes long or so, maybe a little bit more, but we're going to watch the whole thing. I want you to see what a flash mob is all about. Are you ready? Everybody ready? Let's go.
Luke chapter 14. I want to read this. Put the thumbnail up. And anybody here wants to sign up for Worshippers Wanted, text the word worshiper to the phone number that's on that thumbnail. Put that on live also. And if you want to be part of Worshippers Wanted all over the valley, uh, the only way you're going to find out what we're doing, how we're going to be doing it is part of the community. And it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how good you sing. It doesn't matter how great you play. But if you want to be part of Worshippers Wanted, I'm going to tell you what we're going to be doing about this here in a moment. Uh, but text the word to that number, 956-606-3020. You're going to text the word worshiper, worshiper. And when you text that, it's going to send you uh, a message back. And the only way you're going to be part of this is if you are on that board. It's going to be in spontaneous, unpromoted, unprovoked gathering of worshipers at will in different places all over the valley. And it's going to happen fast. It's going to be a flash. Nobody's going to know other than those that are that received the message on text are going to know when, where, why, how. And in the book of Luke chapter 14, Jesus tells a story in verse 16. Keep the thumbnail up there. You don't have to put the scripture on there, Pastor Juanita. It says, but he said to him, this is Jesus speaking, a certain man gave a great supper and invited many and sent his servant at supper time to say to those who were invited, come for all things are now ready. But they all with, with one accord began to make excuses. The first said to him, I bought a brand new car and I don't have any time to go because I'm driving my car and I ask you to have the excuses. Another said, I have a nice comfortable house and I don't want to leave the house. It really doesn't say in the scripture. It says, I've bought five yoke and oxen and I, I'm going to test them and I ask you to have uh, have me excused. Still another said, I have married my wife and she's so beautiful and she refuses to let me out of her bed. No, it doesn't say that. It says, I have married a wife and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and reported these things to the master. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, go out quickly into the streets and into the malls and into the shopping centers and the Walmarts. No, it doesn't say that either. It says, go out quickly to the streets and the lanes of the city and bring in here the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind. And the servant said, Master, it is done as you have commanded, and still there's plenty of room. Then the master said to the servant, go out into the highways and to the hedges to the stripes, to the taco stands, to the restaurants, <laughs> and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. For I say to you that no man who were visited shall taste of the tamales and the tacos and the enchiladas until they all come. Okay, it doesn't say that. It says, for I say to you that none of those men who were invited shall taste of my supper. Wow. He says that this wonderful supper was put together. A lot of people weren't going to take advantage of it. And we have a wonderful church all over the valley. And there are many people that are not taking advantage of it. There's 90% of the Rio Grande Valley do not go to church. So the church needs to go to them. And I shared this a year ago. Maybe y'all remember when I shared the statistics a year ago. Y'all remember? Okay, see, this is how the Lord does things. It doesn't happen quickly, but when it happens, it will happen suddenly. And the Lord prepares and begins to put people in place. And, and as I began to build this process, people are in agreement. They're here, and those that are in agreement, they left, and here we are. And I want to give you the opportunity to be part of Worshippers Wanted. It's still part of the church. This is the church. We're moving together, but we're also going to invite people from all over the Rio Grande Valley to be part of this worship opportunity. Amen. And we're going to go win some people to the Lord. And so you, you, when you register for Worshippers Wanted and you just get that little notice, the first one we're going to do, we're going to, I'm going to talk about this 
May the 18th. Everybody say May 18th. We're going to have a family fest. Everybody say family fest. On May the 18th at 5 p.m., we're going to have food in the parking lot. We're going to have the tacos and all the good stuff. We're going to invite everybody in. And then we're going to do worship right out here. We're going to have some worship. We've got a sound system I'm putting over here right out here. And then in the evening, we're going to come on in here. And we're going to have a great movie. But I'm going to talk to everybody out here just for about five minutes. And I'm going to talk about how we're going to do flash mobs all over the valley during the summertime. And we're going to see, I believe, one of the greatest revivals that will ever take place. You got to agree with this. Amen. Come on now. This is going to be dynamic. We had the Billy Graham administration, Billy Graham organization over here, and they filled up the arena. How many of y'all went there? How many of y'all went there? Okay. So they said they were going to give and, and parse out all the names and addresses of all the people that got saved. And that was exciting. And I got my names. And when I looked at it, more than half of them were members of the church, of the people that got saved. More than half of them were members of our church. So I started calling them. I said, hey, I got this list from uh, Bill Gunn. She says, yeah, we're going to minister him. I said, yeah, but your name's on the list. And she goes, oh, pastor. <laughs> well, I went up there for prayer. And it's true. And their name got on the list. And that's okay. I don't mind. But I said, we got to do, we're recycling believers. So let's go get some new people. Amen. And the only way to get them is we're going to go to the mall and the shopping center. We're going to go to the movies. We're going to go play. And we're going to break out and worship. Amen. One song, break out and worship. And then we're going to organize a team of evangelists that are going to go to everybody who's not singing. And we're going to lead them over to the Lord. We're going to invite them over to the church. And we're going to, we're going to get a chance to get to know them. And we're going to see the hand of God at work. Amen.